maybe everybody automatically thinks of a drag queen as a gay man who's dressing up in the role of a woman. And then, oh, I'm sure there are people who think that that means that sexually they're the woman in the relationship. And, you know, that isn't necessarily true because... Drag queens can be tops, too. They can be tops, too. But it's also, it's not just gay men who are drag queens. There are transgender women, male to female women who are drag queens. I know a lot of straight women who are drag queens because they like to get in touch with the deep feminine side of their life. And where can you dress up anymore? And wear a nice gown and wear a nice hat and maybe go a little bit overboard in your makeup Mm -hmm. and have jewels and and just the movements that say, I'm a woman. When you ask about being role models, I think, yes. And for a lot of different groups of people and for a lot of reasons. Mm -hmm. And so I think mostly each person can probably say best why they are a drag queen. Some people, it is because it is an expression of who they are. Uh, Maybe they're bringing out that feminine side of themselves and they want to show it off and be the other person. A lot of times the drag queens talk about their, their male persona and their female persona as being brother and sister. And it's just fascinating. But I think sometimes it's people who just want to say, I want to have a good time, and I want to help you see that not everything is what it appears to be at first glance. And that's the part I like the best, because I think that's what faith does for us. That's what God calls us to as we see ourselves and we see the world in a different way because of our baptism and our calling. So we don't see people as scary. We see them as our brothers and sisters in Christ. We don't see people as being confrontational and weird. We see them as our brothers and sisters in Christ who are maybe different than we are, but we are compelled, I think, to to then get to know them and have a relationship with them and teach them something of ourselves because of our faith journey, but also learn something from them because of their faith journey. And that's the whole idea of pray like a drag queen, right?